Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial on how to look well rested and I'm using myself as a model. A lot of times I don't get enough sleep and then I wake up early like at six in the morning I have to deal with my kiddos and I have a little bit of time to do my own makeup for like another meeting or another event in the morning so I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how I do my own makeup. The first thing I like to do before I do anything is I like to use a spoon. I know this sounds funny, but I put the spoon in the refrigerator or in the freezer and then instead of using an eye mask, I just take the spoon and I place it on my eye like that. You can do two spoons at the same time. and You leave that on for maybe like a minute or so. What this does is it like immediately like deep puffs your eyes and it just makes them like it just feels so good on the eye the spoon the, the the freezing cold spoon it just like really opens up your eye right away and a lot of you out there I, mean, I know it's expensive to purchase these eye masks and and instead of like doing an eye mask this is like another really great affordable way of like making your eyes instantly awake Another thing I like to do first thing in the morning is to use a spray for my face. The one I really like is by Cowderly. It just instantly awakens your face and it brightens your face. It smells so good. Next thing I like to do is use a moisturizer on my skin. The one I really like here is by Sisley. And this is the Intense Anti-Aging Hydration, just like one pump. And what I like to do is I like to really massage it into my face and I really kind of like go in round circular motion from the inside outwards. Another thing you can use is eye drops. Um, I just like the plain old by scene. This one here is for dry eyes or they also have one for red eyes. Now two important key components for looking tired and uh, looking kind of like overworked is your eyes and your skin. So you really wanna focus on brightening and making your eyes look really white. So the eye drops really help for that. And then I will show you some makeup tips on how to make your eyes look more awake. And the second component is your skin. So like dull skin, you know, tired looking skin, we wanna like, you know, make it more alive looking. So for that, we, you know, we use the mist, a good moisturizer, and now I'm going right into foundation. Foundation is a really important key element, uh, choosing the right texture, the right consistency for foundation. We don't want to use something which will make your skin look, you know, powdery and cakey. We want to use something which alivens your skin, makes it look dewy and, and glowy. So for that, I chose um, this MAC Studio Face and Body. I know this is probably for you guys why is she choosing that, but this is really uh, one of my absolutely favorites. It's a classic, it's a staple, it's in my makeup kit. I've been using this foundation since I'm a makeup artist for years, and it's just such a pretty foundation. It's affordable. Um, it's really, they have so many different uh, colors so I know that everyone out there is able to find the right shade uh, for themselves. I am a C3 so what you have to do with this foundation is you have to shake it really well and then I just use my hands with it so I'm just gonna put it on my my fingers my hands and I kind of like rub it together and I just put it directly on my skin and it's so sheer it's so blendable so easy to apply and I just use that all over even a little bit on my eyes now I just went in with another layer now if you're somebody who needs a little bit more coverage I am like a little bit more red in here and I need a little bit more coverage here you can just go in and do another layer this foundation is really buildable now that my foundation is done what I'm gonna do is I'm bringing in my concealer I really like this one here by Shiseido I've used this in some of my other tutorials. It's very similar to the Clé de Peau, uh, concealer, but it's just a different uh, price category. It's less expensive. Um, you can, of course, go in with a brush and spot conceal, whatever you need. But like in the morning, sometimes I don't have a lot of time. So I literally like really go directly out of the bullet 
and go in the areas where I feel like I need it. And then I even go in with my beauty blender and just conceal the areas where I need a little bit more coverage, especially around my nose area. I always get red. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out whatever darkness I have going on underneath my eyes. Uh, for that, I really like, this is the Pro Palette, but this comes also individual. This is, I like to use the Light Bisque, and it's this shade right here. And it has like this peachy, pinky undertone. And what that does is it just cancels out the like dark shade underneath my eye. And I'm just using a brush. So this is not a concealer. This is just to cancel out darkness. And all of you guys, you know, there's people with darker complexion. You will have to find something with a different undertone. Like the pink and the peach doesn't work like for every skin color. Like if you are darker or you are, you know, you are African-American, like you have to go more towards the orange shades. So this is probably going to be the hardest part for everyone to find the right undertones. And you might need a little bit of help with that if you go to like a Mac Pro store, someone like that who can really give you a little bit more, uh, you know, tips and tricks on how to choose the right shade. Now, after you've used the corrector, I'm going in with the same concealer I've used earlier around my chin and my nose area. This here is by Shiseido. And I'm using, again, just a concealer brush. And I'm just putting that lightly underneath my eyes. And that just instantly brightens my under eye area. I don't like to use too much concealer. I'm using a little bit of the Beauty Blender over it because I feel like it just ages me a little bit. So it goes into all my fine lines. So I don't really like using too much concealer. Okay, so for eye makeup, uh, as you all know, I personally don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, but there are some things or some tips and tricks I do on myself with a little bit of shadow just to uh, make the appearance of my eyes look bigger and larger. So um, I chose this new palette here by Mario. It's such a gorgeous palette, by the way. Uh, Master palette by Mario. Um, the colors are gorgeous. I'm going to use Luna. So that's a really pretty matte taupey color. This is gonna go in my crease. And I'm gonna use uh, Marina uh, as a highlighter, as a shimmer. So I'm gonna start with Luna, which is right here. And I'm using that on my 217 MAC brush. And the reason why I'm choosing a taupey color for myself is because it just, it just like lifts and opens and brightens your eye immediately, especially with my skin color. So I'm using that just in the crease of my eye. And I do have hooded eyes, so remember, um, I always go, you know, a little bit higher than where actually my crease is because my crease kind of goes inwards. So I don't want to like really enhance that. So I go just a tip higher than my crease. And if you can see in the camera immediately, it opens my eye. And this is really all I do. And I, I might just drag it a little bit on the outer corner. I just bring a little bit of that color right in here. But that's about it. And then I'm going to go in with a dome brush, same color Lula. It's actually, sorry, it's Lula, not Luna. And I'm going to put that color on the lower lash line. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the difference between this eye and that eye. So much more awake looking. The only other shadow I'm using is the Marina, which is this like nice champagne shimmery color. And I'm just using my finger with that. So I'm just dipping it in with my finger. And a lot of people like putting it in the inner corners, which I like to do a lot of times too for red carpet. But for me personally, I like to put it like right in the center of the eyelid, right here in the middle. And if you can see, this is without blending it. I'm going to just go in with a brush and just like blend out the edges a little bit. 
but if you can see like what a difference it makes from this eye to this eye it just immediately opens it and just gives it such a nice little sparkle to the eye and then again you can just like blend it out if you need to so mascara uh, first of all you, it's really important to use a eyelash curler i've done this already off camera and i've used my eyelash curler and that just immediately opens and lifts your eyes so everyone has to use an eyelash curler and after that i'm applying my mascara i chose this estee lauder mascara and um i you uh, i chose a mascara with a really nice thin wand now you really want to make sure that you take your wand as close as possible to the root of your lashes to like really get a nice lift on the root then you pull them upwards first and that will immediately open and lift your eyes and then you can almost use your mascara wand vertically and then you can just like paint each individual lash on like that and that will really open up your eyes as you can see right here now another trick is to really make your eyes look awake and open is to use mascara on the lower lash line um, i'm just going to use a little bit because for some reason i don't look that great with mascara on the lower lash line but if you can see it immediately like really opens up my eye okay last product i'm using on my eyes and this is something i do all the time on my celebrity clients um, when they're looking tired or I do it on the red carpet and it's such a great trick is I use this cream colored eye pencil in the uh, lower lash uh, waterline and um, it's basically just a cream color and I put it right in my lower waterline like that also the other side and what it does it immediately cancels out any redness you have in your eyes and you can see it just makes such a difference and then you can even take the pencil and put it like a little bit like right in the reversed v you have on your eye and you can see again it like really opens and brightens your eye now my eye makeup is done and the next step would be powder now for me personally um, i think if you uh, the powder is a very crucial element to this makeup because if you over powder it can make you look dull and uh, we want to aliven the skin remember we want it to look dewy and fresh and glowy so I'm just going to powder I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury press powder and for me I really where I mostly need powder is just like right in here and then I like to put it just a little bit underneath my eyes where I applied all the concealer earlier and maybe just a little bit right around the chin and that's all I'm doing now I'm not gonna contour my face or anything like that I'm just gonna put a little bit of color into my face and for that I'm using um, a very light touch of bronzer and then I'm gonna use a cream blusher for the bronzer I've chosen uh, I'm so in love with this bronzer this here is the new Victoria Beckham uh, collection she did with Estee Lauder I love this bronzer. It doesn't have any shimmer in it and the color is perfect. So I'm using it on my Utuva brush and I'm just really lightly applying this all over. Just a little bit in the hairline right here on my forehead, temple, cheeks, just to, to warm up my complexion. And it immediately just makes me look alive and I feel like I have some color on my face. Now, after applying the bronzer, I'm a huge fan of cream blushers, um, especially for my skin type and being over 40, I just think, I mean, anybody, I, you know, a 20 year old looks amazing with cream blush. I just think it just gives such a beautiful texture on your skin. It's not shiny, but it just is a beautiful glow. Um, it, it creates a different texture on your skin, especially after using powder. And uh, the one I love at the moment is the Smashbox. It's a gorgeous uh, packaging, so easy to apply. You can literally just 
apply it out of the bullet and I know this looks a lot but just put it like right on the apples of your cheek and I'm using a MAC brush and then I'm just like really in round circular motions I'm just putting it on the apples of my cheek and if you can see the difference between here and here it just gives a beautiful texture a little bit of color I just feel awake I feel alive I feel like myself again another thing I like to do is use a highlighter and the one which is in my personal makeup kit and I've been using for the last couple of months every single day is this glossier highlighter um, I just love this highlighter it just is so subtle looks like that and I like to use my finger for that I use my finger to first kind of like warm up the product and then I go directly on my upper cheekbone like I start like right here and I go upwards and then I just like blend it in with my fingers and I just love it it's so subtle so pretty I use that really every day like day and night and it just like gives such a nice texture and sheen to my skin and I feel like instantly awake and I mean if you can see in the light it just is so pretty another nice little trick is you can actually just use it a little bit not all the way down your nose because sometimes that can look a little bit too much but like you could just like use it a little bit like right in that area and then just blend it in for the lips I chose this Clinique chubby stick um, the color is called uh, super strawberry and these are just like super easy they're just chubby sticks you can like literally apply them directly out of the bullet and it's really similar to my lip color and I just want to enhance my lip give them a little bit more of a brightness you can also use like a tinted balm or a tinted lip balm I like using these chubby sticks because they're super natural on your lips they feel great they're easy to touch up during the day and I feel like this color just like really enhances um, everything with my makeup and it doesn't look too bright um, it looks still very natural and I instantly feel like I'm more awake than when I started this makeup tutorial um, I hope that this uh, tutorial helped you I hope that there were some helpful tips and tricks in there let me know what you think leave me some messages and some comments and uh, I see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.